Hello everyone, you're watching Happy Puppy Truffles Daily Origami on YouTube and I'm going to show you guys another unboxing or unwrapping of some particular origami paper that uh, if you're in the market for origami paper you can kind of get an idea of what you might be buying. Today I thought I'd showcase to you guys today this particular brand of paper that's uh, made by Midori which uh, means green in Japanese. Th this company of Midori is actually a company that makes stationary goods. They are known for making really pretty and cute uh, letter sets and pencils and pens, um, especially letter sets. They make a lot of paper that way. And they kind of got started on this whole thing by creating a line of um, origami stationary. And the kind of idea of this was that you'd write a letter and then, um, you know, send it, you know, fold it up and use it as that kind of a way of sharing uh, origami with others as a, as a letter in that sense. So this is kind of cool paper that has really pretty designs and coming from a company that doesn't normally make origami paper. So this company, the cool thing about all these is that they have two designs, really pretty contrasting designs. It's single-sided, the other side is white. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, kind of show you guys what these look like here. I've got, you can tell there's a whole bunch of them in here. Um, there's nine in the series officially it looks like. They run about 315 yen. I bought mine at a bookstore. Um, usually you can buy these things at bookstores. You can buy them at uh, uh, stationary goods shops where they focus on paper and such too, more specific to kind of, uh, you know, traditional uh, handmade uh, washi or paper, Japanese paper. Um, not at your average store. You have to kind of go out of the way to find some of these sometimes. Uh, I do because I live in the boonies. I think if you live in the big city, you're going to find most places will easily have these. So, um, but these are just some of the different kinds of, uh, you know, designs these are special kinds of ways that you can kind of fold things up depending on the kit that you get to make these different designs that they talk about. Um, some of the paper that you can buy is round. Uh, this is a folding technique for some letters, uh, different kinds of things, making it like a penta uh, oct uh, no hexagon. <laughs> different kinds of things there. doesn't really give you a preview of all the different kinds of colored designs that they have, but... Um, I have four here to show you guys. This is like a pretty flower, a little daisy kind of flower, and it's got like a brown base and then the pink um, strawberries, uh, cool like spiral design, and then ladybugs. So I'll go ahead and open one of these and show you guys what they look like here. I do want to show you guys actually all of them, the ones that I have. Um, this has a total of, how many does it have in here? 20 sheets of paper, so you get 10 of each design. This little card in here has a dis little description of how to make a particular kind of little box, if you will. So there's some cute, tiny little hints about how to fold up a letter or something like that. Um, has this little sticker, which is fairly easy to take away. You just lift it off there. That's kind of cool and new. <laughs> I was just tricked by that, actually. The older packs that I have of this, that is actually a sticker, and they'd actually folded the first paper down, which I always felt was really frustrating because it didn't want any creases in my paper. And people must have answered that and said, you know, hey, let's actually not do that and put this little deceptive piece of paper here. That's that's clever. Good deal. All right. So uh, you've got your papers in here. Like I said, there's 10 sheets of each brown. And this one is a brown and a pink design that has these pretty daisies on it. The paper itself, it's so pretty, but the paper itself is really flimsy. Um, and from the back side, unfortunately, you can really see the design. And um, if you're trying for something where you get a really cool white background and then print, not going to get it with this. Uh, the design is cute and poppy and looks cool, but in terms of like from a design perspective, I don't know, you know, you don't really want to see that so much. I'd probably shoot for a design that doesn't show the white side as much if I could. And it is, this is printed paper. It's not handmade washi paper at all. This is just really smooth, um, thin paper that's been made here. You can kind of just even hear it of how thin it is there. But the designs are so cool. Who cares, right? So, <laughs> but you can also you really get an idea of it because it's just so thin. 
um, but can be a really cute kind of alternative to standard, you know, traditional Japanese origami paper. You can use these and get, you know, kind of a cool alternative to that. Oh, I love this little corner piece. That's adorable. Wow. So, <laughs> uh, but this one, this one has uh, strawberries and hearts in it. And I'll show you guys what the alternative one looks like because I know that's a little hard to see just with the way we've got things. This one even almost has sort of a, a waxy kind of shiny finish to it, it looks like there on the top. Um, the back side again too, you can see the, paint, the print right through it. Uh, even if I just put them on my my puppy design here, ah, my paper's stuck. You, you can see my puppy right through the paper. You can tell how thin that is because it's not a very, not a very thick design. Um, and then this is the alternative design, this black, it's actually a brown background with little strawberries and hearts. Um, the back side of the paper, to be fair, has that nice bit of texture to it, so it does give it a little bit more strength, but it is a kind of a thinner design of paper for sure. So there's that second design. Then there's the spiral version, and this one features one that's like with a white background and colors, and then with a red background. Um, and for these, show you guys here. This again has kind of a shiny finish, waxy kind of finish to it at the top. And then you can see that it's a more of a kind of craft paper finish on the back. 10 sheets of that spiral with a white background. And then we have the red base here too for making some cool designs. So that one, you know, I don't think the back side is so bad for that one. I don't know. It depends on what you're making, I suppose, but some cool designs for sure. And then Ladybugs. I love Ladybugs, so I was super happy to get this one. These are all, again, a little bit of a finish to this with that smooth finish on the top and the underside. And you've got white background with red dots and red Ladybugs, and then white background with blue dots and still red Ladybugs. So. That one's super cute. I like the blue one a lot on that one. So, <laughs> um, but the print on this is good. It's a high quality. They're a good high quality company. Sometimes you can tell depending on the quality of the paper. You know, when they print a design, sometimes it bleeds a little at the edges. That's because they're not using a really good quality um, method for printing. This is real sharp. The design and the picture is really clear and crisp. So you know, it's a good high quality paper. It's just, it is thin. So, um, but I do think it tends to hold. Um, a crease pretty good here. I'll show you guys. If you just do a basic crease on it, you get you still get a pretty good crease without having to put a lot of pressure on it. And if I do, you know, make a crease with my nail, it doesn't show wear that much. It's a pretty strong kind of paper there. It's gonna keep keep the whole the crease pretty good. So uh, definitely fun paper to get. And again, if you get a chance to come out here and go to some of these specialty like bookstores or the uh, stationery shops are great places to find this cool paper that has all these really neat and fun, unique, more kind of pop art, modern design styles. Not so much of the traditional Japanese uh, chiyogami or printed paper that was based on kind of like kimono styles. So this is more of a modern take on origami paper. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.